Long before time had a name, a group of travelers managed to go back in time to an update in the past. They found a way to transfer their cosmetics, they found a way to transfer their shiny rocks, and they bought whatever limited item they wanted. And then Lemming found out, and he patched whatever they used to go back in time by closing the online servers that they used to transfer their shiny rocks. And because they can't move their cosmetics and shiny rocks to the past, they can't carry anything with them. Baby told me that story. At first I was like, that's a myth, there's no way that happened. So I asked Electronic Wall, one of Lemming's moderators, and he said, you couldn't buy them, but for a little bit, there was old versions multiplier, old versions multiplayer work. I had a stroke reading that. Anyways, so I said, would you say it would be possible to go back to an old update and buy something, not specifically a limited item, just any item? And Electronic said, nope. It doesn't connect the servers. You thought I was gonna stop my research there? Nope. I said, cheers. Gonna go try anyways. So here I am, trying to put together the pieces. How did those people go back and work in servers? How did they manage to move their cosmetics and shiny rocks with them? Did they actually buy old rare cosmetics? And did Lemming fix them by closing down the servers? That is what I'm trying to solve today. The mystery of the time travelers. Jeez, that sounded so cringy, oh my. Ladies and gentlemen, I have made it back in time. As you can see, there was no game mode button. Just look at the message of the day. All right, so I'm back at the Halloween update. As you can see right here, we have my locker and those are the only face items I own because everything else didn't exist back. Like, look at my hats. That's the only things I have. There's no elf hat because it didn't exist. There's no pot. There's no bunny ears. None of those exist. And look, there was no holdable thing. It was all in badges. No turkey leg, no icicle. And look, chef hat and the headphones weren't in the game. And the yellow sun hat and that shiny cowboy hat wasn't in the game either. There's no mountains badge. Why did Lemming remove these? They were nice. I like them. So here's my theory. If you look over here, everything costs zero shiny rocks. But if we look at these items, they all have their price. So what's going on? What I think happened is the people that managed to go back, they saw the prices over here. They got whatever they wanted. And then once Lemming found out, I feel like he fixed it by making these cost zero. This is supposed to say free, but it says zero. That's because anything that costs zero, you need to try to buy. Oh wait, you already own this item. All right, so if I'm gonna buy it, it glitches out. It says error in purchasing item. No money was spent because it costs zero. So I feel like that's how Lemming fixed it. I don't know how we would, he would update an old update, but I'm guessing like he changed the prices to zero and that's why these are normal, but these are not. So my theory is I'm gonna be able to buy something from here. All right, when you go back to old updates, your shiny rocks actually transfers with you. So right now I have 8,400. All right, look at this. This thing works. I'm gonna buy 1,000 and I'll see if that counts. All right, purchasing. All right, I bought it. Oh my God, it actually counted. Wait, it did, no way. Okay, well, all right, so I can't buy that. That means I have to buy something from here. So obviously I'm gonna get the party hat. Okay, so if this works, that means I would be the first person to buy an item that is not from the current update. I'm gonna be the first person that time traveled and got an item from the past. Also, I've never bought anything from this shop with that one. I've only bought stuff from here and the DLC pack. This would be the first purchase that I get from the normal store. Ready? I really hope this works. <gasps> it worked? Oh my god, I did not expect it to work. I think my theory is right. I think people managed to buy it from there, so he changed it to zero. I actually bought an item from the past. Dude, I managed to... So yeah, I think this definitely had the price, and people did the same thing that I'm doing, and they managed to get whatever they want, and so I think Lemming had to change the entire code for these guys, because I don't know how he would go back and update an old update. It wouldn't work, right? So how did he change it? So it's actually the same thing. The same thing happens if you select nothing. So, vampire set. Error in purchase. If I don't select anything, error in purchase. But yeah. Remarkable discovery. I'm the first person to go back in time and buy an item. Come on, how, what's going on? Bro! 
There's nothing else to do but to go back to the future and see if I still own the party hat. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, we are back to the future and I'm gonna turn around and hope that I see a party hat on my head because I didn't take it off. Yes! It worked! I successfully bought an item from the past. And I have the shiny rocks too. So yeah, this was a success. So here we are my friends. After all that, I think I managed to put the pieces together. Well, if we're assuming that this story is real, Lemming did not close the servers. Like Electronic said, they still work. You still have your cosmetics and shiny rocks. And I was talking about it the other day, and I said how it was strange that the limited items cost zero. And then Textodile said this. He said, in the code, they actually say zero. So I was right. He fixed it by putting every limited item's price as zero in the game's code. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. And there's one more thing I need to do.